This video tutorial will teach you how to use Pictochart to build your infographic for your class project. Once you have logged in, you will be logged in to the magic side of Pictochart, which is where you will do most of your editing. You can go ahead and click on My Saved Pictocharts. It'll most likely be blank, just like mine is. Therefore, you need to create one. Click the plus button that says Create a New Pictochart. It'll populate some templates. Notice at the top, don't worry about clicking anything. We are doing the infographic. Therefore, you want to stay on the infographic. And you'll see 12 free themes or templates you can choose from. The first one is to create your own infographic. You're going to have to build that from scratch. That requires a lot of time and a lot of extra um, hours that we may not have for this project. So I recommend picking a template already populated. I personally like the Apropos one, which is one I'm going to choose for you today. It has three very unique areas that you can edit going forward. You'll notice that on this one, you have one, two, and three blocks. And you know your rubric indicates that you need four blocks of information. It's very simple. Click to select the block. By clicking on it, you are going to be able to edit this block. Once you click on it, you can come over here and click the plus button. And you'll notice how a blank box comes up here underneath. It's very important to notice that no sound is made, no alert is given. If you click that button eight times, you will be given eight boxes. So pay attention to what you do. Now that we are in this one here, you know, obviously all of that text is in Latin. I can delete it, get rid of it, and I can type in my own text there by simply tightening the keyboard. And all of this stuff can be removed and changed. It does not have to look anything like this. You just have the text here to work with. All right, so I'm going to show you a couple things while we're moving around. You can add shapes and lines, icons and photos. This is all stock image stuff that's already in the graphic section. You can also add images yourself by clicking Uploads and then select Image from a Computer. And I have an image right here. I just took a screenshot of my computer and notice how that image was too big. It's two megabytes, so please make sure you find a smaller image. Normally it would populate right in. It's important to know that if you grab an image from the internet, you need to make sure you have that source so that you can cite that as well because you do need to have a block full for your references. All right, then the other options here are the background. You can change the color. You can add different things back here. Text, you can add different types of fonts. Styles, you can change the different types of template colors if you would like. And then tools is where you're going to add your charts, your maps, and your videos. These can all be added in. Remember, we're going to print some of these out. So if you add a video, we're not going to be able to play it when your infographics print it out. You can keep it online and it'll be playable. The charts here is the other feature that I want to show you. This is where you're going to be able to put some of your data. You are required to include some of your statistics. Notice you can choose the type of chart you want, a bar graph, a line chart, a pie chart, uh, a host of different things, a gauge, which is kind of cool, um, different donuts. It's just a unique way to get data out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the vertical bar, and you can see that you can put your data in here. It's important to most likely stay in the data section, and all of this can be changed and you know manipulated as you see fit. And it even has how to upload a Google spreadsheet link if you'd like to. If you did get data and an actual spreadsheet somewhere, you could put that in here and we can show you how. Otherwise, you can just import your data and you're good to go. There so there's our data in. I had to wait for it to load. And you can change all this. Axis 1, I can change this to test, quizzes, homework, and maybe this is the amount of time that you spend on these items. So I spend 60 minutes, 40 minutes, and let's say 20 minutes, and you can notice how the bar graphs change. It's very simple. And then once you're done, you just click Insert Chart, and it'll populate right into where you want it, and you can move it around wherever you would like. It's very simple to use Pick to Chart. Those are the basic features, and of course, you'll figure out a lot of other things that you can add as well. Remember, this is an infographic, so it is a visual representation of what you are trying to share with the world. So you're taking your research, your text, and figuring out a way to visually represent it as best as possible. Of course, it's okay to have a little bit of text to support it as well.